Hi guys, today we're gonna to take a closer look at the latest boot pack from Adidas. So we've had a lot of storms. We've had the thunderstorm, the ocean, the magnetic, and the dust storm. Surely there is no more storms, but Adidas have seemed to found another. It's the Pyrostorm. This is the latest set of boots that bring a brand new fiery colorway to the Adidas Ace, Nemesis, X, and Copper. I've got the boots with me today, and safe to say, I think they all look pretty sick. This will be the main boot pack for Adidas from October onwards, so you'll start to see the Adidas athletes playing in these boots over the next couple of months. So let's take a look at the boots. We're going to kick things off with the Ace. So here we go. First impressions, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Ace boots. Um, it's definitely going to make plays stand out on the pitch. So the boot, in terms of colour, the boot fades from a solar orange. You can see this here on the front. And this fades towards a darker shade of red in the rear. You can see that there. I'm going to go around. This fade is continued also on the sole plate. The sole runs there. This fades into the darker red towards the heel. Prime the upper has this bright solar orange there. You can see that there. And the laces are also this very, very bright orangey colour. Um, the black free stripes, preach on the outsole. So in terms of tech, it is packed full of tech. So this is a 17.1. The boots are built with an Adidas Prime knit upper. This is an ultra lightweight material that wraps the foot for adaptive support and overall comfort. You can see the, the pure control sock. You can see this here. Really cool little feature. This offers sleek compression for stability and this snug material feels like a second skin and it gives you that locked in feeling. So I wore these last night, they just felt so comfy. It just felt like my foot was locked in. And just doesn't allow me to have more of a natural movement out on the pitch. Um, it features an ultra-thin film coating, just keeps up water and debris. And the non-stop grip is a thin layer of raised dots on the upper, you can see this here. This improves ball control in the winter when it's going to be very, very wet. Uh, the lightweight sprint frame. Outsole pushes players to new speeds, while a total control FG stud alignment allows for quick turns, fast push-offs and extreme stability on firm ground. So really, really cool boot, packed full of tech. We also stock the 17.2, 17.3 and the 0.4 as well here at Kidbag. So we offer a range of different boots uh, dependent on budget. So that's the Ace, really cool boot overall. Let's move on to the next one. So the next boot in the pack we're going to have a look at is the X. So there you go, really cool looking boot. Um, it's also received the Paris Storm makeover showing an updated coating. So these guys will be worn by the likes of Bale, Suarez and Benzema. It's been given a black and orange makeover, which I think looks pretty stunning. And it's got the, the loud striking orange logo, Adidas logo. You can see there and the X there. And it's got the orange dots on the upper. Really cool looking boot overall. It's also covered in a sleek navy kind of dark grey sole plate as well really cool overall really fine looking boot and I think it's going to be very very popular tech wise the x17.1 power storm boot is the same as previous releases um, we all know that the x boot is for those quick players who want to unleash the limits of their speed and the technology behind the boot allows this to happen so um, in terms of tech it's got the tech fit compression upper which delivers total stability and molds itself perfectly to the foot in an instant. So I tried these on this morning and they're just so comfy, very, very snug on your foot and just feels like your foot is locked in place. This is due to the X heel lining. It's got the knitted upper material for flexibility and natural movement. And it also features non-stop grip coating. Uh, this is a thin layer of raised dot which creates traction on the ball and complete control in wet and dry weather conditions. So you don't need to wear, uh, worry about your feet getting wet or ball control in those winter months. And finally, it also features a lightweight sprint frame FG outsole. This allows players to launch to greater speeds. Overall, it's a very quick boot, very, very lightweight and sturdy as well. Uh, if you're looking for the same boot, but with a, with a cheaper price, we also stock the 17.2, 17.3 and the 0.4, and also check out the AstroTurves in these as well. Really, really cool looking boot overall. So that is the X. So the third boot in the pack to receive the pyro makeover is the popular Nemesis. So there you go. 
Um, the boot introduces a bright design for the latest colorway, combining a reddish orange bright color with the black stripes all over. So you can see that there, you'll most definitely be standing out on the pitch in these, I can assure you. So in terms of tech, as we all know, the key design feature of the Nemesis is a 360 agility bandage, which supports explosive movements and allows your foot to be comfortable and locked in place when playing. So you can see the agility tapes there, wrap around on the foot there. The Agility Knit 2.0 4 foot allows for responsive feel and instant perfect fits, making an overall comfortable shoe. I tried these last night on in training and they were just so comfy. I've always had second thoughts about the Nemesis, but actually trying them on, I mean, realised how comfy and cool they actually were. The dual lock collar construction, see there, around the ankle, locks your foot in place and adds to the support along with the 360 bandage tape I just previously mentioned. On the feature, again, it features the Agility bandage system and the Adidas non-stop grip technology together. This perfect your control in all weather conditions, so you don't have to worry about your touch and control over the winter months. Also features the torsion ribs for push-off support and the lightweight torsion frame outsole there. It's really cool. Overall, the boot is very light and it's a very sturdy shoe. So this is the fifth Nemesis in the collection so far. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. Personally, I'm digging this one. So that's the Paris on Nemesis, and I am pretty impressed. So let's move on to the final boots. Left the best one to last, and this is the copper because it's just pure class. Personally, I think this is Adidas's best boot. So the boot, as you can see, is predominantly black with a ready orange free stripe finish on the outset there, you can see there. And there's more of the red trim on the collar and the heel there, you can see. Just a very classy looking boot overall. It's not in your face, and I think this is one for the, the more traditional players who like it old school, and I'm one of them. Um, in terms of tech, for an old style looking boot, it has modern technology to keep up with the demands of the modern game. So the first thing which I personally love is the leather. The premium kangaroo leather on the upper provides an unraveled touch on the ball and a glove-like fit. The foam cushioning and the sock liner and heel creates sock-like fit, allowing for natural movement the compression tongue and the X-Tex rear foot enhances fit and stability for all round comfort. Uh, I would definitely be investing in a pair of these. I wore these last night in training and tried them on um, and I had a lot of jealous mates, so, which is always a good thing. So yeah, for looks and comfort, these do it for me, just an overall class boot, I really love them. So that's your Paro Storm boot pack. Tell me what you think about the new colorway in the comments below. Are you a fan of the red color? Um, here at Kitbag, we offer the boots in a range of different models. So these guys are the high end, or we also offer all the lower end um, models too, dependent on your budget. Don't forget to check out the Tango AstroTurf range in these. We also stock these in the kid size as well, and also soft spike as well, which is definitely needed for them leather side fixtures. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep an eye out for more product views in the future. Cheers.